Hey everybody, it's Jessica Smith here from Jessica Smith TV, and I'm so excited to be teaming up with my fitness pal for their New Year, New Healthy You series. So I'm just gonna take you through some 10 minutes of flexibility training that you can do after you've completed a workout, or you could just do it on its own if your muscles are feeling a really tight, tense, and a little sore. It's also a great stress reliever too. So let's just start with the feet about hip width apart, relax and soften the knees. We're gonna start with your neck. I just want you to look down to the floor nice and slow, and then up to the ceiling. Down to the floor, up to the ceiling. Couple more. Good. And up. Once more down. And up. Come to the center. Let's drop our ear over to one side. Take it down for two. And up, other way. So we don't realize how much stress and tension we hold on to in our neck and shoulders. So that's why it's really good just to take some time out to slow things down and to stretch out. Good. I know it's January, you're so focused on putting your energy and your effort into big workouts, but flexibility training is just as important. You wanna take care of your muscles too. Good, let's do one more. Now stay here, take half a head roll here. Come down and around. And other side. Good, just let that ear fall over the shoulder. Good. Couple more. Now if you'd like, we're gonna hold it here and maybe add the hand to just guide that ear a little closer to your shoulder. Don't yank on your head though, just give it a little assistance. From here, turn your chin towards your armpit and bring your hand to the back of your head, bring your chin down a little bit. So feel how that changes the stretch more to the back side of your neck. Release, let's go the other way, drop the ear over. Optional to use your hand. Turn your chin towards your armpit, hand to the back of the head if you're using it. Drop that chin down a little more. Good, let's take it to the center. Now just take a little shoulder shrug. Inhale, shoulders up and down the back. Up, let it go. Two more, inhale and release. One more, inhale and release, good. So stretching through the triceps and continuing to work into the shoulders. Let's take one hand up, bending the elbow, dropping the hand behind your head. Take your other hand and just assist that elbow a little closer into your head. Nice, gentle stretch. You wanna relax your neck. Good. Now if it feels right for you, see if you can maybe lean slightly away from that elbow. Just make sure you're breathing comfortably. Try to relax into stretching. We never wanna force our body into a stretch. Slowly come back to the center. Relax. Let's switch arms. I'm gonna take this arm up and back. Using the opposite hand to gently guide that elbow in a little closer to the head. Good, relax your neck. Again, only if it feels right for your body, lean away from that elbow. Slowly come on up. Nice, relax the arms. Good, so let's take one arm across the chest, drop the shoulder, and just give it a big hug with your opposite arm. Now keep your hips facing towards me and let's follow this arm and just slightly twist and look back over your shoulder. So I want you to pull that shoulder across, feel a little stretch across your upper back, across your waistline. Good, come back to the center. Let's go to the other side, drop the shoulder over. Give that arm a big hug, follow the hand. Nice job, good. Let's take it back to the center. Now I just want you to see if you could clasp your hands together behind your back. Soft knees, wider stance. We're gonna inhale, open across that chest. Just lift your heart to the ceiling. Big breath in, raising the hands up as high as is comfortable for you. 
Take your hands together in front of your chest. Turn your palms away. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, round. Tuck your tailbone under. Just drop your chin to your chest. Really separate your shoulder blades. Good, so create some space in that upper back. Let's try that again. We're gonna go back into the chest. Hands behind you. Inhale, open the heart. Roll those shoulders back and down. Lifting those hands as high up behind your back as you can. Interlace your fingers together in front of you. Tuck the tailbone and just round. Good, so just enjoy this little time out from your busy schedule. Reconnecting with your body. Good. Come back in. Nice. Let's take a little side stretch. You're gonna reach one arm up to the ceiling, slide the other arm down the side of the leg. Come back to center. Other way. So I want you to think of this arm reaching up and this arm slides down. Open and expand through the side. Come center. Let's do that again. Lift up. Last time, big side opener. Breathe. Great job, good. So let's just slowly make our way to the floor to work into the lower body a little bit more. So carefully come down. So if you need some help with some of these stretches, consider putting a pillow underneath you to sit on the ground to be a little more comfortable. We're gonna take one leg straight out in front of the hip. Tuck the other heel in close towards you. Just let that knee drop. So I want you to just hinge forward from your hips and walk out over that leg as far forward as is comfortable for you. You might be able to reach your toes and pull them back. Remember, flexibility is really like building strength in your muscle. With practice, you get a bigger range of motion, right? You can go further into things. But if you're just first getting started, your muscles might feel pretty tight. So don't make any judgments about what you can or can't do. Just do your best. Walk back up. Let's switch legs. So take a second to change out that leg. Tuck the heel in. And again, just walk forward. Maybe today is where you're gonna start right here. Maybe tomorrow you go a little further. Maybe in a few weeks you can go here. Just breathe. So let's get into your inner thighs next. I want you to just walk up. We're gonna sandwich the bottoms of the feet together and just let your knees relax open to the side. So you can make this a little easier by keeping your feet further out. You want a little more intensity, you're gonna bring them in closer. We wanna sit up nice and tall and just hinge forward. And again, you're gonna to go to your own degree. So if you feel a stretch here, stay here. If you need a little more leverage, you could just use your elbows to lightly open the knees. Maybe some of you have the flexibility to come all the way down to the floor with your elbows. See what feels right for you. Good. Nice. So from here, we're gonna go into one of my favorite stretches. We're gonna stretch the top of the thighs or your quads. So I want you to take a second just to lie on your side for me. 90 degree angle with the legs. Bottom arm is gonna extend under the head. Grab a hold of your top ankle with your top hand. Press your pelvis forward, pull the heel back in, and just breathe. So push your hips forward so that we're getting a stretch all the way up into the hip flexors too. Breathe. Good. Nice, now from here, I just want you to turn onto your back. You're gonna take the same leg that you were just holding onto and cross it over and open the knee. So you can start here if that feels right. If you're ready for a little bit more of a stretch, you can hug underneath your thigh and come in. So this is a nice reclining pigeon pose, which can be a little bit easier on your knee and your hip than full pigeon, but it still stretches those same muscles in the glutes. Let's just slowly uncross the legs. We're gonna rock up to seated so we can do all those on the other side. So just swing your legs around to that 90 degree angle in front of the hips. Slide that bottom arm down underneath your shoulder. Grab a hold of that top foot, pull the heel in, press that pelvis forward. So just take some nice deep breaths. Good. 
Now we're moving through these pretty quickly because this is a 10 minute total body stretch, but you're more than welcome to do this again and stay longer in these stretches if that feels better. Turn back onto your back. Let's take that pigeon pose again, crossing the leg over or hugging underneath it. Just open that knee to the side, breathe and relax. So just make sure that you're including flexibility training in your workout routine. If you've started a new one, don't just focus on cardio and strength. Flexibility is just as important as those two elements. So make sure you make some time for it in your workout week. It's that crucial. Let's go ahead and uncross the legs. Bring your knees in. Just slowly rock yourself up to a seated position. Let's come to the hands and the knees. Good. I want you to just tuck your toes under, walk your hands back to your feet. Just want to get you off the floor. Drop your heels down, extend the legs as straight as you can. Let's walk the hands on top of the thighs to support the spine and slowly roll up through the back. Thanks so much for taking a little time out to work on some flexibility with me today. And I hope you'll stick around and watch a quick promo of my brand new program. It's called Walk Strong, the six week total transformation system. I'd love to be able to continue to be your workout program. And I think this is just the set you might need to help you achieve all your health and fitness goals. Thanks so much for stretching with me, guys. I can't wait to join you for another workout again real soon. Take care, everybody. Stop starting over. Start transforming. Introducing the Walk Strong six week total transformation system. Whether you're post baby or post menopause, you can get strong and slim at any stage with this plan. Think about your goal. What are you working for? What did you show up today to work towards? With just the right blend of intensity, workout styles, challenge, and repetition, our program will build you up, not break you down. So what we're doing here is not about making your abs six-pack abs or looking good in a bikini. It's about building a strong center, a strong foundation for everything you do, not only in your workouts, but in your daily life, right? Our workouts help you boost your metabolism, bolster your brain, reduce your body fat, create flat, pulled-in abs, and protect your joints in the process. Strong backside is not just good for your looks, it's also good for your knees. It helps support your joints. Practice makes progress. This complete system includes 10 30-minute workouts on four DVDs, our total transformation six-week wall calendar, our total transformation welcome guide, Plus, get free online support from our expert team and added accountability from our online community. Order now to get free shipping. Prefer instant delivery? Get the digital download. Why wait? Start your transformation today. Buy now at walkonwalkstrong.com.